July the 20th, y'all. I got the the bulls, bulls and the steer, all loaded up. We go to the stockyard. We still got nine heifers in the barn and one bull back at the other barn. They need to go away. Chevrolet is a good seat, a good uh, stick holder in the cab so your sticks don't get all jacked up. It's about the only good thing Chevrolet made. The big green barn. That cinder block area up under there is where they're keeping all the pigs and stuff. So you never actually seen them. This place here is probably not bad, but this driveway and this big hump going on right here kind of makes it hard to back in. Yeah, they could fill it. They could fill it in right here. Oh, come on, come on, come on, baby, come on, go. One of y'all, one of y'all's got to go. Come on, come on, baby, come on, go. Come on, baby. Let's go. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on. Big money truck rolling in. Mike Elam from Remington. Been doing this my whole life. His truck just keeps getting bigger though. He's got the belly loaded up with what looks like Holsteins. It might be beef cows. Well, we're not gonna stick around today to watch the show. <laughs> We're gonna go on home. <laughs> Doing a little electric fence testing tonight. Cause somebody said the cows were out, but they weren't. You see this joint right here? Right here, it's connected together, right there. There's a 0 0.2 on this wire right here. And this wire right here has got a three point two on this side. Zero two, three point two. Just because of this connection right here. And that carries all the way around and all the way to the woods like that. And then all the way around the woods and all the way back the other side. Just from that connection right there. Not connect not making a connection. This is, this is, this sucks. But that's what we're doing tonight. Somebody said the cows were out. Turns out they didn't know what they were talking about. Howdy y'all, July 23rd. Dad and Harvester feeding hay bales to the cows. Just so they don't eat all the grass while it's trying to grow again. I'm putting a bush hog wheel back on. Been running around trying to find some sockets because they all seem to disappear on me.
Take this down to the barn, put some air in the back tires on this thing. Oh, bush hog's heavy. This tractor's used to riding around with a hay rake behind it. No bush hog heavy back here. Nine and a half, nine and a half pounds in that one. Well, I missed out on the video yesterday of them moving hay and me out there bush hogging. We've been having a lot of issues with our phone lately. But we're gonna go haul some hay bales. Jordan's out there in the field with the other wagon already. We had to hook truck trailer up anyways, because this weekend is Berryville Steam Show. Shenandoah Steam and Gas Association. So, we had to hook it up anyways. But yeah, we bush hogged all down through there and we're all around this other field here. And all this behind me. Trying to get this automatic trailer cleaner working. So far it's doing a doing an okay job, I guess. It's having a little trouble with the big stack. Well, Emily's unloading her second load. We are loaded with our second load. And here comes Jordan across the field with her second load. Man, he's probably getting tired. But he only goes out there and loads that wagon up one more time when loads that one up one more time. Well that field out there will be done. We out riding around. And the corn is awful short looking over here. And very choppy. This over here is already tasseled. And I swear it ain't barely any taller than me. So I don't know if all this got planted later or what, but it is very short corn. This over here is getting shorter as I go. Very short. This over here is more uniform, but definitely short too July 27th y'all we're getting ready to move some hay bales at least that's the plan we had a good time at Berryville last night so we're gonna go back on Sunday for the next tractor pull the neighbor over here that says the neighbors moved out they've had these people in here completely redoing the old house um, it don't look terrible but look at the roof. I'm, I'm just I'm just gonna point this out. Look at the roof. Like I don't know what's going on there, and why in the world would somebody do that? But that's what they did. Like why? Why would you do that? But anyways, that's my that's my grape on it so far. That and the block wall that they put around the base of it. Uh, the other side is crooked. It's, you know what? It's, uh, it's not square with the house. Let's put it that way. It's not square with the house. The wall itself looks good, but it's not square with the house. But anyways, we gotta go back here and we're gonna get three little blue tractors and one big blue tractor and one skid loader. And uh, we're gonna move some hay bales today for a little bit because uh, this evening, they all want to go to the drive-in movie theater, which is like an hour away. 
they want to go to the drive-in movie theater and watch the new Twisters movie at the drive-in movie theater. So, that's the plan for tonight, but we got to go make some effort to do something around this farm. Because we can't play all three days every week. We can't play, we can't play all weekend. So we got we got to go make an effort to do some work around here. This is the time of year we like to go play, but you know we got to make an effort to do some work around here. So that's what we're gonna do today for a little bit. Look at mommy. Yep. She got her got thing. Mommy on. out here. Got the harvester. We just fired the 48 up here. The 48 now has 13. 121 hours on the 48. TC 48 DA. We've got 1,321 hours. But this one here is a lot older than the other two. By a few good, few good years. And it used to scrape manure in the, in the uh, barn daily. So that's why the front wheels and all the wheels on it are all scruffy. Emily's getting fuel at the 48. Chris, Jordan's backing up here to hook up the wagon. Chris got fancy with this load. 
He double stacked it. I hope they don't fall off. He double stacked that one. Just hauling all the loads today. These these bales here are a lot more tighter and more uniform out of this hay than, than some of the other fields. He just double stacking everything. You got me one of them big loads now. I got switch tractors this time. Jordan was cutting the string off the back axle on the. Uh, on this trailer, on this, uh, or no, on the other wagon, on the last load. not a 55 workmaster. Um, it has less horsepower. That's just one thing. This little tractor is like a rubber band. You got to jack the throttle way up and then the throttle is going to drop way down when you take off and then it's going to come back up again. Maybe. Otherwise you got to go back and shift down another gear. So this little tractor is kind of like running a rubber band compared to the other ones the other two. Then this throttle is so stiff it's, it's almost impossible to move it. But we ain't figured out how to take the whole all the plastic loose to figure out how to loosen it up yet. So it's it's terrible. It really is. We really need to fix that because it's terrible to operate this tractor like that. Um but you know it's it it, it runs bush hog alright it runs a finish mower alright it it used to haul, it used to scrape a lot of cow poop back in the day, but it's just not the same tractor. The other tractor's like having a, like a, like a whole half a tractor more compared to this thing. Now the other 55s, they, uh, they have about the same kind of lag trying to take off in high gear, but otherwise the rest of the gears are great for the most part compared to this thing. This thing has trouble taking off in high range. So, but this one is considerably less horsepower. This little tractor is 40 horsepower non-turbo where the 55 Workmaster is 48 horsepower turbo. But otherwise, it's like the same engine, pretty much. We're getting there. I think it was about 134 or so bales, 39, 40 bales in this field, something like that. Last load, heading home.
but he's he's doing it. He can't operate nothing, but he can turn the wheel. Most of the time. Oh, harvester behind the wheel. He ain't drove that tractor before. He probably could if he really wanted to. If he learns how to push that clutch in. Cars are going to park the loader in the shed for the night. Thanks for watching the Headings Farm. Uh, hope you all like and subscribe. Leave comments, shares, you know, all the good stuff that helps us out. We really appreciate it. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one.